Hi everyone, it's Amanda from WaffleMakersHub.com and today we are going to be reviewing the Marvel Captain America Waffle Maker. So this waffle maker is perfect for anyone who loves superheroes in your life, especially Captain America, because it's going to make one Captain America shield waffle. So let's take a look and see how it cooks and see how the waffles taste. Okay, so I've taken the Captain America waffle maker out of the box and I plugged it in and the lights right here went on, which means that the waffle maker is heating up. You can see this is the outside of the Captain America waffle maker. Looks pretty cool, looks just like Captain America's shield. So that's a nice feature. It's pretty small, so it's nice and compact. And it's pretty sturdy, feels pretty good. So when you open it up, one thing I really liked is one of the plates is the Captain America shield, while the other waffle plate is a Belgian waffle maker. So on one side, you're going to have a Belgian waffle, while the other side of your waffle is going to be the shield. This is perfect because if you have an adult that maybe doesn't want the shield, serve them the Belgian waffle maker. It also is nice because it means that there's going to be nice deep grooves in the waffle and it won't be as pancakey as some of these um, themed waffle makers can be. So let's close it and I'll let it heat it up and then we'll pour some batter in. Okay, so the light went off on the Captain America waffle maker and I have made a batch of our amazing waffle batter. The recipe can be found on our website, wafflemakershub.com. It's a great waffle recipe, works with every machine. So we're gonna give this one a try. So I'm just gonna open it up. And there was no directions in the owner's manual for this machine as to how much batter to pour in. So I'm just gonna eye it and start in the middle and work my way around. Get a little more in there. Spread it around a little. So this took a lot of batter, this waffle maker. I'm actually going to scrape some of the waffle batter in and get okay, it so really I filled full. it up. I'm going to close the lid. And in the directions, it says that the waffles should take between three to six minutes. So I'm going to set a timer and see how long it takes. That light on top is not a light that says when the waffles are done. It just says when the waffle maker is hot. So it's back on, which means it cooled down a little bit, but I'm guessing that the light will go off really soon. So we're going to wait, and then we'll open our waffle maker and see how they look. There's steam coming out, so I know they're cooking. Okay, so it took about three minutes. Um, the light did go off. When the light went off, I checked the waffles. They weren't done yet. But after about three, I think it's been about three minutes and 30 seconds now, I'm going to take a look. Also, some of the batter did drip out, so maybe I overfilled it a little bit. But we'll see how they look when I open it up. So right now, we're looking at the Belgian waffle side, which looks really nice. Very golden brown, uh, really nice, big, deep holes there. I'm going to take the waffle out and flip it out onto the plate. We'll see if it comes out cleanly. I'm guessing yes, because the top did come off really clean. There's no batter stuck. The waffles didn't stick either. So I'm going to flip it out and we'll check out the Captain American shield. So that is a pretty cool looking waffle right there. It definitely looks like the Captain America shield. Perfectly golden brown. So I would say about three to four minutes is right where you want to cook it. Nothing stuck to the batter or to the waffle maker. The plates are really nice and clean. All clean up top too. There's a little bit of batter which um, overflowed, so I would probably use a tiny bit less last time, but no big deal. There is no plate to catch batter though, however, so you might want to put something under your waffle maker or it should easily just wipe off the counter, but there's no um, drip tray on this waffle maker. Cut into it and it's nice and crispy, not cakey at all, not at all like a pancake. Crispy like a waffle should be, golden brown, really nice looking. So I would say this is definitely a win for the Capsule in America Waffle Maker. So good job Marvel making this one. And if you want to read the full review, check out our website, wafflemakershub.com, where you can read the review for this waffle maker, as well as many other waffle makers which we have made. So have a great day everybody, and enjoy your waffles.